And the, the final one before the use case is the technology roadmap uh, subgroup. Um, this actually may, I, I think, uh, probably could make less progress than the others, because in some sense it's rather difficult to make a roadmap because you know what the technology is. And the technology was only coming out of the use cases and the reference architecture groups uh, towards the end of the end of the um, um, three month uh, process. So I think this uh, I expect the technology roadmap to have a significant uh, further enhancement during the second stage of this work. Um, so. Here is what, how this works. It starts off with the usual um, general word about community of interest. But notice it does have to actually um, look at the materials gathered from the other subgroups. Um, and it needs to understand standardization issues and priorities and adoption priorities. and. Um, here we have to look at these taxonomies to be able to classify the various um, needs. Uh, here's where standards come in. They haven't really been mentioned up to now. But if we want to have a healthy uh, roadmap and progression, we need to identify the key, the key sweet spots where it's important to have a standard so that uh, we can have an ecosystem of different people doing different things and those things fit together. We are marvelous though Google and IBM are, and Microsoft, we don't really want to have systems that only they can put together. We would be, it's, not, it's okay if they produce part of the answer, but not okay if they have to produce the whole answer. So the only way you can do that is for there to be standards, and these large vendors produce components that obey these standards, and then others, other large companies or just smaller, Startups can provide components which are standard compliant. Um, I should point out that you know Europe is particularly interested in the standards because, in some sense, they, they tend to be a little playing, playing startup in this general catch up sorry in this general area, and uh, for them, therefore, standards are particularly important. Um, so here's they looking at the taxonomies to be able to. Um, See the various ways they'll be developing the technology, the um, the roadmaps. So we have storage, processing, resource management, infrastructure, information itself, standards, applications, and business operations. And these then map into the components of the reference architecture over here. And finally, we have here the um, um, how the various subgroups fit together. It's reference architecture and security uh, sort of closely linked. We saw how the security was linked to the components of the reference architecture. In some sense, you want to start off with the requirements and use cases that drives that. It also drives the technology roadmap. But then that has to interact with everything else. And then we have definitions of taxonomies, which really require all of these things to be operational. Especially the, the requirements in the reference architecture, security, and privacy, because those are the ones that would that, um, produce the, uh, ground the groundwork to allow you to know what you're meant to define and what you're meant to have ontologies and taxonomies for. And the reference roadmap wants to is, is, wants to use these uh, all of these things to decide what to move forward.